Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a French Bulldog, which was a request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 14cm wide by 19cm or 5.5 inches wide by 7.5 inches. The medium Bulldog crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm wide by 12cm or 4 inches wide by 4 and 3 quarter inches. This small French Bulldog crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 7.5cm wide by 10cm or 3 inches wide by 4 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today, so the size will be slightly smaller than the large one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 106 Snow White, 130 Old Lace, 162 Black Coffee, 254 Moon Rock, 110 Black and I'll be using a tiny bit of 398 Colonial Rose for the mouth. You could embroider on the mouth or use any colour you've got. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors, sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and I'll be using a tiny bit of white for the markings on the eyes. We'll start on the head on the white piece here. I've got my 106 the Snow White and I start with 4 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. And one single crochet in each of the last two stitches as well. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work. We'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work a joined single crochet in the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet in the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 2 single crochet into each of our 2 stitches. We'll have 4 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the 2 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 3 single crochet into the stitch.
For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches, and 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We're going to work 1 half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work one half double crochet into our last stitch. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 7 stitches. For row 11 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 12 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 single crochet into each of the next 3 stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 13 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches, 1 single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 14 we start with 1 chain and turn. And we're going to work a joined single crochet over our three stitches. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the middle section of the head done, except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain, we don't turn and we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch 
around our work. So just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge and we bring a loop through and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And for the neatening row, we need to try to work into each stitch because we'll be working the brown section on the edge of the white. It can be useful to use a smaller hook for the neatening row just to get into the stitches. So I'll work the rest of my neatening row off camera and I'll be back. Now when I get to the beginning of the row, I'll slip stitch into the chain and fasten off. And that's that first part done. I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back with the black coffee and we'll work the side of the head. Now for this first side we join in the first stitch at the top of our piece. So just in here and we work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one single crochet into the next stitch. We'll work one half double crochet into the following stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now down into this part where it goes in, we're going to work one half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into each of the following three stitches up the side. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work a joined double crochet over the next two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. We've got three loops left, we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's row one. For row two, we start with two chain and turn our work. We're going to work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work 
one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, um, sorry, joined half double crochet, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the last three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got lots of loops on the hook. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn, we'll work a joined half double crochet over the first 3 stitches, the same as we did in the last 3. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. Now we're going to start on the year part. We start with one chain and turn. We'll work three single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches. And two half double crochet into the next stitch. We'll leave the rest of the stitches. For row 2 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined half double crochet over the first 3 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next 4 stitches.
and a joint single crochet over the last three stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And one half double crochet into each of the last three stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the six stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch. One half double crochet into the following stitch. And a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with 2 chain and turn and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the 4 stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take a hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. And that's the first side done. I'll weave in those ends and we'll just work a neatening row of a slip stitch around the brown part. We will be working a neatening row around the brown part, but I might just work the other side first. It's worked the same, but we join on the wrong side. So this first stitch at the top here. And we start with one chain and work one single crochet in the same stitch as our join. And one single crochet into the next stitch. We work one half double crochet into the following stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work one half double crochet into the next stitch. One double crochet into the following stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we'll work a join double crochet over the following two stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, 
hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops then yarn around the hook and take our hook through all the loops for row two we start with two chain and turn we work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our joined half double crochet we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch for row three we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches then one single crochet into each of the next eight stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last three stitches for row four we start with two chain and turn we work a joined half double crochet over the first three stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end we'll have eight stitches For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 3 single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each of the next two stitches one half double crochet into each of the following three stitches and two half double crochet into the next stitch we miss the last for row six we start with two chain and turn we work a joined half double crochet over the first three stitches
one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And a join single crochet over the last three stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches. And 1 half double crochet in each of the last 3 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 6 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into the following stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 10 we start with 2 chain and turn and we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the 4 stitches, the same as we did at the end of the first year. And we fasten off. And that's the head done except for neatening around the brown bits. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll neaten the rest of it. Now for the neatening row we join in the first stitch of the brown I've got my fine and hook just to make it a bit easier to get into the stitches and we just work a slip stitch in each stitch around until we reach the white so just like that and I'll work around until I get to there and fasten off and then I'll join in this first stitch and work right around the brown to there and fasten off. So I'll work the rest of that off camera. And that's the head done. For the muzzle I've got my 106 the Snow White and I start with 6 chain. For row 1 I work 1 single crochet in the 2nd chain from the hook, 1 half double crochet into the next chain, 1 double crochet into the following chain, that's a treble using UK terms, 1 half double crochet into the next stitch, and a single crochet into our last chain. That just gives it a curved edge 
for the top of the muzzle. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with two chain and turn. We work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next five stitches. and two half double crochet into the last stitch. And that's the top part of the muzzle. We'll start on the first side. We start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and a join single crochet over the following two stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochet into the following stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the four stitches. We put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and we fasten off. the second side we join in that first stitch and work one chain. We work two single crochet into the first stitch the same place we joined. One single crochet into the next stitch and a join single crochet over the following two stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work a join single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the four stitches. And that's the muzzle done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we don't turn, we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch right around the muzzle and then we'll join in the chain and fasten off. So I'll work that off camera, the neatening row, and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with the pink and I'll work the mouth. And there's the muzzle done. For this little mouth, I'm going to crochet it in, but you could embroider it in if you'd prefer. So I've got my 398 the colonial rose and I'll join 
the stitch up from the bottom stitch. So this stitch in here and work two single crochet into that bottom stitch and then join with a slip stitch in the stitch up the side and fasten off. And that's the mouth part done. For the nose, I've got my 110, the black. And I'm going to make a magic loop, but I'm going to leave a bit of a tail at the beginning. I'll use it to embroider from the nose down to the mouth. To make a magic loop, I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn through. And then I need to chain and work four half double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of this tail and ease it in and I fasten off. And that's the nose done. For the eyes they're made the same. I've still got my black and I make a magic loop and work one chain and work six single crochet into my circle I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. I've got a small circle. And the second eye has worked the same. We make a magic loop and work one chain and work six single crochet into the circle. We pull the circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. Now for the inner ears, they both work the same until the neatening row. One is turned before the neatening row. I've got my 254 the moon rock and I work four chain for row one we work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook one double crochet into the next stitch that's a treble using UK terms and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. For 
we miss the last two stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the four stitches. And that's the inner ear done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch around. I'll change to my finer hook. And when we get back to the beginning of the row, we fasten off. And that's the first inner ear done. I'll work the second one. I'll change back to my bigger hook. We start with four chain. We work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches we miss the last two stitches for row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the four stitches And that's the second inner ear done. For the neatening row we start with one chain and for this one we'll turn, I'll get my smaller hook, and work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'll work the rest of this off camera and then I'll be back and we'll work the body now for these shadows under the body, I've tried a few different colours. This is 105 Bridal White. I like that, but it would be very hard for you to see while I'm crocheting it. This one's 074 Mercury. 
this is 404 English T and I'll be working the 130 the old lace today now I'm starting up under the head I've got my 106 of Snow White and we start with 9 chain Row 1, we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 8 stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 8 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have 9 stitches For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work one, half, sorry, one single crochet in each of the first 8 stitches and two half double crochet into the last stitch For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn we work two half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet in each stitch to the end we'll have 11 stitches For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, we'll work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch, into the last stitch we'll work 1 single crochet and 1 half double crochet and we'll have 13 stitches. 
So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and one single crochet into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after the first stitch we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first fourteen stitches. And we work one single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 9 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and one single crochet into the first stitch. and then work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 17 stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. We're starting on this little part down the front. For row 11, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. 
and a join single crochet into the same stitch as the last part of the join single crochet and our last stitch. And for row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work a join single crochet over the two stitches. And we fasten off And that's the first part of the body done. I'll just weave in these ends and we're going to be working with the old lace next um, as well as the white. So I'll join in the old lace and the white and we'll work the bottom part of the body. And there's the first part of the body. We're going to join the old lace, the 130, into the last stitch on this row here, the first one up, so just in there and for this first row we're only going to work one stitch in, in the old lace, we work one single crochet into that first stitch and then we put our hook into the next stitch and we're going to bring up a loop of the snow white. So bring the snow white through and we'll work with the snow white. And we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row two we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. And then we'll work one single crochet into each of the next ten stitches. Now we're going to work with the old gold. We'll work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. So we just take it over the top and then bring it through. Then slip stitch into the side where it meets and then we're going to slip stitch in the top of row 12, our last row of this section. Just slip stitch into the top there. For row 3 we can work one chain and we turn our work and we're going to work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. Now we're going to leave the Snow White here. We'll be using that for this leg here. So we're going to leave it attached. 
Now we're going to leave the stitches for this leg. So we're going to work one single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next seven stitches using our old gold. So this is the back loop here. This is a front front loop and this is a back loop so one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches in the back loop only And then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 4 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 1 half double crochet and 1 single crochet in the first stitch. Then we'll work 1 single crochet in each stitch till we have 2 left, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So after the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. And work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work one single crochet and one half double crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into the last stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet and one single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each stitch to the last 2 stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 16 stitches. So after the first stitch work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left.
and work a joined single crochet out of the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet out of the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. And then for the rest of our stitches we're going to work into the back loop only. We're leaving the stitches for this back leg. So work to the end of the row in the back loop only. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last 2 stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches and we'll have 14 stitches. So work 1 single crochet in each stitch till you have 2 stitches left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first three stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 12 stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 11 stitches. So work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet in each of the following two stitches.
one double crochet into the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into the following stitch and one single crochet in each stitch to the end. And then we fasten off the old lace And that's the body part done. Now we're going to work this near front leg and we'll continue with our white. Now we had seven stitches left along here. Now we'll bring up our white into the first of those stitches, the front loop. You can see them better if you bend your work over. So bring your cotton up there and work one chain into the first stitch and then we work one single crochet into the same stitch as our chain and then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches and we'll work a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn our work. It's easier if you just keep your work bent and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the six stitches. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn We'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the four remaining stitches. For row five we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last three stitches. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches
For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches For row 12 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch For row 13 we start with two chain and turn we work two half double crochet and one single crochet into the first stitch. And then one single crochet in each remaining stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off and that leg bends down over the top of the body. Now I'll weave in these ends and then we'll neaten both the body and this leg now for the neatening rows, for this leg we'll join just in the first stitch there and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch right around the leg to this last stitch over here. So I'll work that one off camera and for the body neatening row we join in the first stitch of the white just there on the back and work one chain and we'll work one single crochet in each stitch around. When we get to where the old lace starts, just in here, we'll join in the old lace and work the rest in the old lace up to the beginning of the row. So I'll work those two neatening rows off camera and then I'll be back and we'll work this back leg. That's the neatening rows done. For this near back leg we'll be working into the front loop we left from row 7. There's seven stitches there along here. We'll join in the first one, so this stitch here. and we work one chain. We'll work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches just in that front loop we left.
For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each remaining stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches. And a join single crochet over the last 2 stitches. And then we work 4 chain. For row 5 we work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into each of the last two chain then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the first 7 stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into the following stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off and that's the back leg done. We do a neatening row of one slip stitch in each stitch around. We join at the top there and work right around to the back but I'll work that off camera. For this far front leg I'm going to join just at the side here 
just as it starts sloping down in the back loop only. I've got my 106, the Snow White. And I start with three chain. We work one double crochet in the same stitch as the join. We're working into the back loop only of each stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. And one single crochet into each of the following four stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches one half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the end will have four stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet in each of the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 2 half double crochet and 1 single crochet into the first stitch. So 2 half double crochet and 1 single crochet. And then one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the far front leg done. It will need a neatening row too. I join just at the top of the leg and work one slip stitch in each stitch around up to the back part of the leg there. For this foot just sticking out from under the front leg, I join my white just in the stitch under the 
front leg. So that first stitch there. And we work three chain. We work two double crochet in the same stitch as our join. That's a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the following stitch. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then fasten off. And that's the body and legs done, except for the two neatening rows. I'll do them off camera. Now for the body marking, I've got my 162, the black coffee, and we start with 20 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the following seven stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One single crochet into each stitch till we have one stitch left. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches.
and a join single crochet over the following two stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So after the join single crochet work, one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first 14 stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We slip stitch into the second stitch and then slip stitch into the third stitch and work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as the last slip stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and then 1 single crochet in each of the next 11 stitches. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn. 
We work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches. Work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of the joined half double crochet. So that stitch there, just in the bottom there. And then slip stitch into each of the next two stitches and work three chain. Work one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and one double crochet into the next stitch. Then work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch as the last double crochet. Slip stitch into each of the next two stitches Work one single crochet into the following stitch, one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the body marking done except for a neatening row. We'll only neaten around to the beginning of the last row, so just before the joined half double crochet. So, so there, we'll start with one chain and work a slip stitch in each stitch around to the double crochets. So I'll work that off camera and I'll be back. Now I'm back to just before the joined half double crochets. I'll fasten off and that's the body marking done. That's all the pieces worked. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's my pieces. I've got the body, the head, the body marking, the inner ears, the eyes, the muzzle and the nose. The first things I'll do is attach the marking to the body. This part goes just at the top there and it goes down around the edge and this second little part goes in between the front and back leg. So just in there I'll attach the nose to the muzzle just at the top there and the tail I left goes from the nose down. I thread it through the top of the mouth there, so just in there. I'll embroider markings on the eyes, a white dot in the middle of each eye and three little dashes of around the bottom. The next things we do is attach the muzzle to the head just in there and the inner ears to the ears. Just in there. The last things I'll do is attach the eyes to the head there. about there and I'll attach the head to the body. So just in there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished French Bulldog. And there's the finished French Bulldog. The size is 12 centimetres wide by 16 and a half centimetres or four and three quarter inches wide by six and a half inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.